In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria recognize and continue sequences that involve decimals. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under entry 3. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculator questions and then we'll move to the calculator questions. Here is the first question. Alex sees a sequence of numbers in the book. What is the next number in the sequence? So we've got 1.00, then 1.15, then 1.30. So what are the numbers going up into every time? What we can do is reverse the process. So 1.15, take away 1.00. What is the difference? That 5 take away 0 is 5. 1 take away 0 is 1. 1 take away 1 is 0. So we add in 0 0.15 each time. Let's test it with this other one as well. So 1.30 take away 1.15. Does that give us the same difference? If so, then we can confirm that we're adding 0 0.15 each time. So We've got to take away 5 from the 0, which means we've got to borrow 1 from the 3. So that becomes a 2. 10 take away 5 gives us 5. 2 take away 1 gives us 1. 1 take away 1 is 0. So that tells us that we're adding 0 0.15 each time. So we're going to add 0 0.15 to 1.30. Zero and five is five, three and one is four, one and zero is one. So the next number is one point four five. As we've added zero point one five to one point three zero. What is the next number in the sequence? Fourteen point eight, fifteen point nine, seventeen point zero. So we're going to do 15.9, take away 14.8, 9 take away 8 is 1, 5 take away 4 is 1, 1 take away 1 is 0. So we've added 1.1 here. Is the same over here as well? So 17.0, take away 15.9. We've got to take away 9 from the 0, so that means we've got to borrow 1 from the 7, and it becomes 6. So 10 take away 9 gives us 1, putting the decimal point down. 6 take away 5 is 1, 1 take away 1 is 0. So that confirms that we add in 1.1 each time. So I'm going to add that to 17.0 now to work out the next number. 7 and 1 is 8, 1 and 0 is 1. So 18.1 is the missing number. What's the next number in this sequence? We've got 3.6, 4.8, 6.0. So 4.8 take away 3.6, 8 take away 6 gives us 2, 4 take away 3 gives us 1. Let's test it with the next number in the sequence. The next two numbers, in fact. So 6.0, take away 4.8. We're going to borrow 1 from 6. So we've got 10 take away 8, which is 2. 5 take away 4, which is 1. So that confirms we're adding 1.2 each time. So I'm going to add that to 6. Zero and 2 is 2. 6 and 1 is 7. So 7.2 is the missing number. OK. 57.7, take away 47.6 for this question. 
7 take away 6 is 1, 7 take away 7 is 0, 5 take away 4 is 1. So we add in 10.1. Let's see, is that the case for the next two numbers? So let's do it this way, 57.7 .7, add 10.1. Does that give us 67.8? Let's see. 7 and 1 is 8. 7 and 0 is 7, 5 and 1 is 6. So 67.8, that confirms that we add in 10.1 again. So I'm going to add 10.1 to 67.8. 8 and 1 is 9, 7 and 0 is 7, 6 and 1 is 7. So 77.8. 9 is the missing number. From now on we can use the calculator. Ria wants curtains in a room. These are the lengths of curtains in meters. 1.0 meters, 1.25 and 1.5. The lengths follow a pattern. Ria wants the next length up from 1.5 meters, so that number that comes next. What length of curtains will Ria buy? Show your answer in the box below. So, we're going to work out this difference here. So, we're going to do 1.25, take away 1.0, which gives us 0 0.25. And we can do this with a calculator. Now, that tells us that we're adding 0 0.25. Let's check, is that the case with these two numbers as well? So I'll do 1.5 minus 1.25, and that gives us 0 0.25. So that confirms it. So what I'm going to do now is add 0 0.25 to 1.5. And that gives us 1.75. So 1.5 add 0 0.25 give us 1.75 meters. The bus stop is 0 0.25 kilometers from Mina's house. The bus stops are at equal distances. Complete the sequence. So we've got 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and then we're looking for the next number. 0 0.5, take away 0 0.25, gives us 0 0.25. Let's just double check. So we do 0 0.75, take away 0 0.5, and gives us 0 0.25. So we're going to add 0 0.25 to 0 0.75, which gives us 1 kilometer. Bird food can be bought in five different weights. The weights follow a sequence. What are the next two weights? So we've got 0 0.2, then 0 0.25, 0 0.3, and we're looking for the next two numbers. So what I'm going to do is 0 0.25 take away 0 0.2. That gives us 0 0.05. Is that the case here as well? Let's have a look. So 0 0.3 take away 0 0.25 and that indeed gives us 0 0.05. So I'm going to add 0 0.05 to 0 0.3 first and that gives us 0 0.35. Now I'm going to add 0 0.05 to 0.35 and that gives us 0 0.4 kilograms. 
Amy makes icing for different cakes. The amounts of icing go up in sequence. What is the next number in the sequence? So we've gone from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. So we're going to work out the difference. 0 0.6 take away 0 0.3 is a 0 0.3. Is that the case here as well? So we're going to do 0 0.9 take away 0 0.6. That gives us 0 0.3. So that confirms we need to add 0 0.3 to 0 0.9. And that gives us 1.2 kilograms. And that's the end of the questions.